Jeremy Weiss here. We're live from Prosper Show. We're here with Viral Launch and the founder, Casey. And just talk a little bit about what Viral Launch does. Yeah, so we have a suite of software and services designed to help you have success on Amazon. So everywhere from product research, validating these product markets, doing your keyword research, uh, getting that product up and listed. We have creative services, product photography, writing listings, and then we'll help you drive your keyword ranking on Amazon. So a pretty comprehensive approach. We'd like to think that we're one of the largest Amazon data aggregators. We're all about following the data. So what's the most popular service? We, we had a large sellers uh, the past few days and your viral launch came up over and over and people are actually using it for different things. Yeah, yeah. So what are some what are the most popular ones? So we just started launching our software uh, our research tools 2017 end of 2017 and already our research tools are our most popular. Uh, so it's, we're pretty excited about that. Second most popular would definitely be our promotions platform to help you drive keyword ranking. So how do people use the, the first one, the research? Yeah, the research tool. So you know, let's say you are looking to make some money on Amazon. You have some parameters and you're looking for products. You're looking for brands that maybe you can emulate. So we are tracking uh, nearly 100 million products on Amazon. We're tracking millions of keywords, brands, categories. So you can really identify these, these niches of opportunity, essentially. Yeah, people are saying it's very accurate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we just recently launched a keyword research tool which shows very, very accurate sales estimates in terms of what keyword should I be prioritizing, what keywords are my competitors not prioritizing. There's so much low-hanging fruit in terms of keywords, people just don't realize, so yeah. So why did you start Viral Launch? Yeah, so uh, I started with an Amazon seller. I was actually kind of just a self-taught coder, so I built the original platform. Oh. I actually coded Viral Launch with socks on my hands mm -hmm. in this uh, apartment in Indianapolis uh, because my brother and I didn't have enough money to afford heat. So uh, oh. kind of come from nothing. Uh, now we're you know like a 43-person company and you know just able to help tens of thousands of sellers, which is amazing. So bringing me back to that time, yeah. no heat. What was what was life like then? So my mom had just uh, been evicted and had her car repossessed, and my brother and I moved back to the college town. To, uh, I went to college for a few years, uh, taught myself how to code, dropped out, uh, and I was building iOS apps. And my brother and I moved to uh, Indy, uh, Indianapolis, uh, with money he had saved up delivering pizzas. And so he's a couple years younger than me. He was providing, working construction, providing for us. And yeah, I built the original platform, just socks on my hands because it was too cold in the apartment for me to be able to code. Uh, we couldn't afford the heat, so. Casey, that's crazy. Yeah, thanks. So how, when, how, and when and how did you get your first customer? So uh, my co-founder, he was the Amazon seller. He had a, a couple of Amazon seller friends. Pretty quickly, we were able to drive good results for these people. And so they would start saying, oh, you got to use Viral Launch to you know, improve your keyword ranking. You got to use Viral Launch to improve your sales. Then it just escalated from there. I ended up buying my partner out officially after a year. Uh, he wasn't as interested. And right around May of 2016 is where we really started taking off. So Casey, how does the early on scrappiness coming from nothing yeah. integrate into the company now? Yeah, so it allows us to move very fast. We just launched this uh, product discovery end of November. We launched keyword research very early March. We're able to launch these, you know, bi biasly, these game changing tools very quickly uh, because basically it, it's a, Building a, a startup is all about give and take, right? So where can we accept pain so that we can push harder in one area? And so, yeah, we're always making these opportunity cost calculations so that we can grow so fast. So where, do the, where does the entrepreneurial spirit come from? Uh, a real passion for helping people and, and building cool things. So, you know, we get these amazing testimonials of, you know, the single mom that uh, was struggling to make ends meet and now she's killing it on Amazon and she gets to stay home with her, her family, right? Or, you know, this guy who's been wanting to be an entrepreneur, uh, he's now 40 and for the first time he has an entrepreneurial endeavor that's like working because of Fire Launch. And so like the amount of people that we're able to help and the ways that we're able to help is like amazing. And that, that's, that's really what keeps us going. So. What tends to hold pull people back from using Viral Launch? Um, so, I, one, I, I think that there's a, 
some a good amount of misinformation around like what is driving success. Uh, that is probably not super relevant to this question, I guess. But uh, the, the, well, maybe it, holding you know in their mind, it's a it's yeah a so, obstacle, but it was not an existent. Right. Exactly. And and in some markets, we have some competitors, and like I, I think that there's a general like over there's an overwhelming amount of new software tools all the time, right? And so being you know hearing another software tool, it's very easy for you to. I don't know, brush something off as, oh, that's just another one of these. But yeah. when, once people really look into our tools and the amount of data that you're able to see and the way that we you know, show that or represent it, the insights that you get from it, that's where uh, people really have their eyes open, essentially. Yeah. So what's a big challenge? A big challenge? They, I mean, it's not easy to start a company. I mean, yeah. nothing compares to where you're at, yeah, yeah. right, in the apartment. But what has been some challenges that you have to overcome with the company, too? Yeah. So I'm a product guy, so but not a marketing guy. So there's some people in this space that are amazing internet marketers, but they're not so great product people. But it's all about the audience, right? And so we're focused on building the most effective tools. And there's people that are not building you know, the best technical tools or, or tools with a lot of flawed logic, uh, but they're just great internet marketers. So it's really figuring yeah. out how can we break the noise in the marketing side. Traditionally, just great products has helped us, but yeah. So I know we talked about a few customers. What's your personal favorite customer success uh, story? So my favorite customer success story is by far our best. And so basically we helped take this brand new brand. They launched in June of 2015. They did 36 million in 2016. Wow. Uh, and so now they're one of the top five brands in their, their category uh, by volume. And so uh, we across their like four or five accounts, they do over 100 million on Amazon alone. Wow. It's pretty insane. That's amazing. So where can people check you out? Point to uh, the website and a couple tools because I know you have a bunch of yeah, products yeah. within the website. So uh, check out keyword research. There's so many low-hanging fruit opportunity keywords out there that you, you're not paying attention to just because existing tools haven't shown you the, the breadth. You can check us out at viral-launch.com. We also have a podcast talking about following the data. It's called Follow the Data. Uh, we're just a, a data company. So, yeah. Thanks. Live from Prosper. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, like psycho peach, if you find the same right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.